Hey, if you live in the Great Lakes region or travel there during the summer months, one thing you really like to do is recreation, the ability to fish and swim in these Great Lakes. But I'll tell you what, would you want to fish or swim in anything that looks like this? This is the western end of Lake Erie, and this is taken during the late summer and into the early fall. Look at that water. The green in the water is actually huge concentrations of algae that develops in the lake when that lake warms up in the summertime. Now let's take a look at how all of this develops. We're going to start out in the spring here, and this is late March. We're looking at March 29th, and here is the lake. It's Itself, and you can see a lot of color in the lake, browns and grays and some dark greens in the lake itself. This is actually sediment that is coming from rivers and streams that are flushing out into the lake as ice cover melts away. And when that flushes into the lake, it's got a lot of sediment with it. And the sediment actually remains suspended in the lake here. The currents move the sediment around the lake itself. And that's why you end up with the color in the lake that you do. But as we get into the summer, unfortunately, we get a different type type of uh, uh, algae that develops in the lake here. And this is that green algae that I was talking about that we just saw in the video. You can see this develop. It's a result of nutrients that come from fertilizers, generally from agricultural interests. Those fertilizers lay on the soil. Heavy rains will uh, take those fertilizers, put them into the streams, and they end up flushing out into the lake. Algae just love the phosphates from the fertilizers, and they thrive on it. And unfortunately, we see these types of blooms develop. Now, this type of algae is a toxic type of algae. Scientists have been studying this over the past two to three years. That we know that it can have adverse health effects on people, and they also were studying the adverse health effects it may have on the fish community. Once again, we're going to look at the possibility of this developing again this summer. It's the western end of Lake Erie that we're most seriously concerned about. Stay tuned, and we'll keep you updated.